Hi, do you remember that time when things were normal and we could all travel? Well, back then I got to explore Nagaland. The beauty of Nagaland, as many say, is truly mystical. But what really stood out for me were the people. Simple, kind, and trust me, responsible people of Nagaland. There's so many things that I got to see and experience on this trip. And while everything cannot be captured in a video, here's my attempt at it. So come with me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is Nagaland Part One. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Swati, and I create travel videos here. In case you're new to my channel, then please do consider subscribing. So, if you have been following my Northeast series, then you would know that in the last video, I was on a fumri, a floating island, and here now here I am in Nagaland. It's been actually. a long journey on a boat in public transport and everything and after 6 hours of uh, traveling here i am so right now we are in a place called kigwema which is about 10 km short of kohima if you're coming from the manipur side and i'm here to do the zuku valley trek this has been on my bucket list for the longest time and i'm so excited to do this trek today uh, so i'm doing this trek and the whole trip like we did all our bookings and everything through this company called experience destinations uh, they are into curating itineraries for northeast and they do both personal and group itineraries we got here last night and we stayed in this really nice homestay it's a simple place but it's so convenient the rooms are spacious and the food here is really really good last night i even tried snails for dinner which was actually good i've tried snails before but i liked it here better and now the plan is to go have some breakfast there's actually a group uh, that's trekking i'll introduce all of them to you guys in a while i got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start i got the feeling when the windows roll down in the car here at the starting point of our trek azuko valley is massive and if you see on google maps you can see that it extends to both nagaland and manipur and therefore can be approached from nagaland and manipur but the thing is if you are approaching from manipur the trail is more arduous and also long therefore a lot of people like to approach it from uh, nagaland and even from nagaland you have two options you can approach it from this route which is the viswema route or from the zakhama route Now the Zakhama route is shorter but is uh, relatively uh, more difficult to do whereas this route the Viswema route is relatively easier but but longer so that's what we are going to do we are at the Viswema route so yeah now let's start climbing I got the feeling this heart won't ever stop no don't ever stop the sun will show the way I know the road to take So now we're done with almost 1 hour of climbing so I think we're done with the difficult part now it's all going to be like valley walk and this here is our trek guide Hello I'm Roko Yeah Roko what does Roko mean in uh, your language Roko actually it means uh, luck So he is going to be our good luck, good luck charm for this trek. So this is the group that I am trekking with. Allah. 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 Allah
now I think we are very very close to our dormitory. It's right there. I think now maybe like 10 more minutes of hiking and we should reach there. Now that finally we are here, we are going to have a lunch which kind folks at Experience Destination pack for us. They have only managed to crush it but nonetheless the food looks yummy. So guys, guess what? At Zuku you may not find network but you will find Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Here's presenting the cutest Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now after a little bit of chilling here, we're going to trek down to the valley. Apparently the views are really good from there and it's only about a 30 minutes hike. The first double when we are going, we need to hike down and then we'll climb up. I never seen a uh... A place like this in my life, and I see beautiful place, but this, uh, wow, is uh, mystical, mystical wow. world. Good world. <laughs> This place is honestly surreal. I'm definitely not exaggerating when I say this, that this is actually one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to. I'm capturing everything for you, but let me tell you that camera cannot capture even half of the real beauty. You have to come here and see this for yourself. Right now we are at the valley. There's also a tiny little stream there where we are going to just go chill for a while and then we are going to head back to our dormitory. And like that, it was a beautiful day in Zuku Valley. And now, let's talk about the real deal, the nights. It does get pretty cold at night, and if you ask me, that's the real adventure of this trek. That is all about my one day trek to Zuku Valley. I'm so happy that I got to do this trek. Now, if you haven't been to Zuku Valley yet, I think after this lockdown is over, you should definitely plan a trip there. Now having said this, it was time for us to leave this valley behind. But before that... So apparently, Naga people believe that whenever you go to a new place, you should, let's say for example, a jungle or a trek like this, you should call back your soul because your, or some part of your soul might stay back in this place and if you are unlucky then something bad could happen to you so you're supposed to call back your soul also zuku literally means uh, soulless and there are many stories to it one that i've heard is that a lot of farmers they wanted to cultivate something and uh, they tried for many years but nothing uh, happened so so they think that this whole valley is soulless uh, but in Angami the literal meaning is cold water and the water here is pretty cold. So yeah, there's so many stories. Some say there are some super natural things here but we didn't really experience anything so we can't comment or validate that. But anyway, this has been our journey guys. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, Zuku Valley vlog. Now we are going to trek down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we are going to Kigwema, back to Kigwema. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, then please do give this video a thumbs up. And also consider subscribing to my channel, Spondalist. I'll see you very soon with another video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.